In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the items in your toolbar. Your toolbar has two settings. This first setting controls the size and appearance of the documents here on the platform. The second setting controls your tags that you will place on the document. To toggle between the two settings, you will just click this tools button to go to the tagging section or click the X button to go back to the tools that control the appearance and size of the documents. There are several tools that control the appearance and size of the documents. The first item is the panel tool. When you click the panel tool, you will see a thumbnail of all of the pages of the document and you will be able to quickly jump to any page simply by selecting it. The next tool is the view controls button. When you click the view controls button, you can control how you transition from one page to the next. The page by page control lets you jump directly from one page to the next without any transition. The continuous button allows you to slide the pages up and down continuously. On the layout section, this controls how many pages you see at once. On the single setting, you will only see one page at a time. On the double setting, you will see two pages at a time. And on the cover setting, you will see the pages offset from one another. This panel also allows you to rotate the documents counterclockwise or clockwise so that you will always have control to see the document in the best possible view. Your next selection is the pan function. If the document is larger than the width of the page, you can use the pan selection to grab the document and drag it to whatever position you like. The plus and minus zoom buttons allow you to zoom out and to zoom in so that you can view the document at any size you like. You can also select this down arrow to select a preset percentage for the size of the documents. And you can also choose to fit the document either to the width of the page or fit so that the entire page can be seen. The tools button will take you to the tagging tools that you will use to fill out the document. First, make sure that the document is sized to whatever size you like. Then click the tools button. You have a selection of many different tools to choose from. You have the signer signature tool. This tool allows you to place a tag for the signer's signature. You have the signer checkbox tool. This tool allows you to place a checkbox wherever the signer needs to make a checkbox selection. You have the signer free text tool. This tool allows you to place a tag so that the signer can write in any text that they like. You have your notary seal tool. You will use this tool to place your notary seal on the document. You have a fill in here tool. This tool allows you to place a flag to show the signer where they need to fill in information. 
you have a rectangle tool. This tool can be used like whiteout to cover up any portion of the document that you choose. You have the signature tool. This is the tool that you as the notary will use to sign the document. And you have the notary free text tool. This is the tool that you will use as the notary to type in any text or information that you need.